So you've downloaded and installed the latest version of OpenTunes. You've run the program and can't wait to start animating. Do you just pick up your stylus and start? No, not yet. Follow these five simple tips before you draw and you'll have a much smoother experience. At number five, update all of your drivers. And this is the number one reason why OpenTunes appears unstable for some users. They're using out-of-date drivers. And don't rely on Windows updating them for you. Go straight to your manufacturer's driver site and download and install the latest drivers from there. And some sites even offer a service to check your system to see if it has the latest drivers, and that can be worth trying too. But as a minimum, update your graphics card and drawing tablet driver. Number four. On Windows, enable the high performance option. So just press the Windows key and type graphics settings. Select the application and you'll see this. Click browse. Browse to your OpenTunes program. Then click the options button. And in that dialog, choose high performance. Then just click save and that's it. When you next start OpenTunes, it'll use more features of your graphics card. And you may also have a high performance or similar setting in your graphics card settings panel. And I've made a separate video about that that you can follow a link in the description. Number three, store your OpenTunes projects in your documents. By default, when you start a new scene, it'll be added to the sandbox project. And instead, you should always create a new project for your scenes to keep your assets isolated from other projects. But these projects will be stored in the OpenTunes stuff folder, which contains all of your settings for each release. So, as I recommend installing nightly builds from time to time, these will update this folder. So my recommendation is to not store your projects here as well, and it's really easy to change. So if you run OpenTunes, and from the File menu, choose Preferences, and in the General tab, Tick the box near the bottom to add My Documents OpenTunes to your project locations. Then, after restarting OpenTunes, you can choose to create your new projects in this new OpenTunes folder in your documents. And while you're in the Preferences dialog, if you've used OpenTunes before, now might be the time to have a quick glance through some of the options and set up your preferred default. Whether it's your preferred theme colour, or whether the function editor opens in the new window or one of the many other options. Number two, set up keyboard shortcuts. And this might be more of an ongoing tip, but while you're thinking of preferences, you might want to start setting up a few keyboard shortcuts to match shortcuts that you set up in earlier versions of OpenTunes or that you use in other software. And you get to that from the file configure shortcuts command. Just browse to each command and add the shortcut or you can filter using the search box. So two of my favorites to add are to assign the H key to flipping the viewer horizontally and to assign V to flip the viewer vertically. And number one. So finally, I'd recommend setting up FFmpeg and this is to give you more formats to render out your animation to, including MP4 and GIF. And also once set up, this allows you to import MP3 audio files. And I've got a separate video showing the full process of setting up FFmpeg linked in the description. But if you've already got FFmpeg downloaded from your previous version of OpenTunes, you just need to go to your preferences, go to the import export section, and then browse to the directory that has the three FFmpeg executables in it, and then restart OpenTunes. So there's my top five tips to follow before you start using OpenTunes. And doing these will mean that you have a much smoother time using the program, and there's less chance of having a crash. And now you've set up the basics of the program, this video will show you the most essential next steps to start animating with OpenTunes, so do check that out. And I want to say a quick thanks to all my Patreons for supporting the channel, especially my new Teapot Patreon, Robert Rice. Thank you for joining my tea service. So I'll see you, Robert, and everyone else next time for another OpenTunes tutorial. And that's a guarantee.